Let's go over how to create a DSC composite resource. Creating a composite resource is similar to creating a module, and you will need to put your resource in a path that is in your PS module path. For this demo, I am using my modules folder under my documents in my user profile path. I'm going to store that path into a variable called module folder. Now the first thing I need to do is create a folder to house my composite resource. I'm going to call mine web server config and create that folder. Under that folder I'll need to create two things. First I'm going to create a new module manifest and name it the same as the folder I just created with a PSD1 extension. Then I'm going to create another folder called DSC resources under the web server config folder. There, I'm going to create a new folder to house my actual configuration for my composite resource. I'm going to call it Web Features. Under my Web Features folder, I'm going to create two files. First, I'm going to create a schema.psm1 file. This has to be named the same as its parent folder, and this file is going to host our code. Next, I'm going to create a new module manifest named the same as the parent folder with a PSD1 extension. I'm also going to specify my schema file I just created as the root module. Let's go ahead and open the schema file to add our code. Once I have pasted my code into my schema file, you will notice that this looks like a typical DSC configuration. Here I'm going to call it Web Features. The Web Features resource is simply going to ensure that the Web Server Windows feature is installed. Now let's save and close that file. When we run Get DSC Resource, we can see our new Web Features resource which is available. Now just to review, here is what the structure of the DSC resource should look like now. Under my modules folder, I have my web server config folder. Under that, I have my web server config module manifest and a folder called DSC resources. Under DSC resources, I have a folder called web features. And under web features, I have my web features module manifest and my web features schema.psm1 file, which contains the code for my composite resource. Now let's take a look at a configuration that uses the new composite resource. Before the node section, I have added import DSC resource to import the web server config composite. And within the node section, I have my resource web features and I'm calling this section install features. You can call that second part whatever you want as long as the first part matches the name of your composite resource. Now if we run this configuration and open the resulting MOF file, you can see that the Windows features have been combined with the rest of the configuration. And that is how to create a DSC composite resource.